Right, I'm at Stetchworth. For years I was calling it Stretchworth. One of the first churches Zara and I came to in 2005 when we were on the Hockwold holiday. And these, this was one of ours. And I've come again with the other van, but this time it's just um, Alberta and me and, and Brandy, who features all over the world in the picture here, has come in spirit. She's come. Brandy's come in spirit. That's a stud farm up there. <coughs> Lodge and Sons Limited Restoration. St. Peter's of Stetchworth. There's mason graves in there. Obviously we can't go in there now. That'd be bits around. And in the week I suspect you can't come in at all. In the week. See from here I'm going to read out. In loving memory of Catherine, the beloved wife of Walter Esden. She died December the 5th, 1903. Aged, it's either 80 or 95, so there's Elsdon Grave in there. Of course we're looking for Chapman's and Associate Families, but of course I haven't got the tree with me. This wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do this in the week, it's probably a good idea I've come today. If I had stayed and decided to come tomorrow, look. Oh, they've got loose here as well. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? I cleaned up an awful lot of graves here when I came. 2008, I think I did a lot. I did a lot of tidying in 2008 and I made a note of every what I thought was related graves here. Um... I did a nice a lot of photos inside the church. I um, didn't have video then. A lot of these now, believe it or not, are not as readable as when Zara and I first come. They have deteriorated. I used to be able to read some of these. It's a sort of churchyard where that happens though. I'll come round there in a minute. It might be some bones or something. Got a big cable up there, look, when they're doing their work. Yeah, a lot of them have been unreadable here. And always have been. But they're doing some sort of work to the church. Let's see, there's um, two terms now, restoration or preservation. And some say restoration does damage. And we should be doing more preservation. Look at that big hole down there. God, I wouldn't be surprised if they haven't found some bodies down there. To be quite honest, this is the grave site. They've got, we had um, Claydons and Claytons and that round here. I'm sure of it. They might be further over. God, there'll be bones in there. Sticking right across a coffin area. Yeah. She's the archaeologist. <laughs> See that? That's pro that could be a bit of bone. Yeah, this, uh, it's often kept along grass though, this one. <sighs> oh, 
I'm glad I got in there when I did because there's some, it's a beautiful church. God, they're digging up everywhere, look. <laughs> My goodness, look at this. It's good to actually come when it's um, being done like this because um, you see another side. You do see another side where they're reinforcing the church opposite, having to dig down into the footings. That looks pretty hollow down there, doesn't it? It's going right under the church. I can't remember whose grave that was. I used to know. I've got, I've got it all recorded, of course. Everything I've done is photographed, recorded. I wonder if this is amateurs doing it. down there. Yeah, look, there's an insight that you wouldn't get before. I thought I'd see a bit of bone sticking out. Underneath this church. Right down there, look. It's amazing, isn't it? Not been easy with all the rain. Digging up everything. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just looking to see if there's any pottery or anything. You can't help it once you've watched Time Team, you see. Looking for clues. <sighs> I'll take a little bit with back with me, anyhow. A bit of, um... Stetchworth. Look at that big bit there. Looks like it's going to rain in a minute, doesn't it? So there's the back of the church. Let's zoom in a minute up to the tower. Yeah, they certainly are having to do a lot of work to stabilise it. Because <sighs> I haven't got very appropriate gear on today. I've got sandals and normally I wear uh, trousers and boots or shoes. So, But I'm not going roaming. I've, I've, I've actually... Um, Recorded a lot of these in the past and I tidied them all up. There's clay in there. I'll just zoom in and see if it comes up at all. Well, that's a Claydon grave and there's lots of the ancestors here, these graves, all these graves here which I tidied up. It's now completely overgrown again. It's not always a good idea to um, keep doing it because it damages the the actual gravestone. Yeah, I think they're Claydons and called Claytons. Then round here, all round this bit, you've got Briggses. And um, they will be connected in one way or another. These I tied it all up. I think they're Claydons. I did do them all in the past. Clements is another one. These I've done. There's another view of the church there from this side, a bit brighter this side. And Brandy and Zara are featured all over the globe now in this churchyard. I've got pictures of Zara walking down here with Brandy on the lead. <coughs> and walking up the path as well. I'm not going to show you pictures of me, I look revolting. I'll have a quick look. look. Here's Sheila. Doing family tree work in the Suffolk and Cambridgeshire countryside. So last day here, she's done various villages just doing videos. So that's me. I've been doing video. I might cut that bit out. Uh, I have been doing videos. 
uh, um, of the churches. I can't do them all because I haven't got enough time. There's always another time anyway. It's a reason to come back, isn't it? Very difficult to do this, isn't it? When you've got to dig into the walls. Isn't it? Pebble dash. Pebble dash mixtures. That's what this is. Right, over and out for a minute. There's Alberta through there. I've got the other side of the graveyard. I'll do a separate video for that one in a minute. That'll be a, that'll be tidier. This is the old side with all the Briggses here. Samuel and Charles Briggses. Just have a quick look over this way. See if we can see anything inside. Oh, everything's covered up. Got this rubble inside as well. Maybe it's going to all be restored. I don't know where they get the money from. I don't like the feel of that bit. Oh, yeah. I think your fingers go on edge. <sighs> right then, over and out. This is Sheila. The 8th of June 2014. Inner element in, in a graveyard on a nice sunny day. Revisiting Stetchworth in Cambridgeshire. On the border of Suffolk and not far from Newmarket.